Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 of RPA and nothing much is there in RPA, <coughs> no need to worry. I have made the tutorials, you have to watch that one and uh, the module 3 consists of two parts, okay. The first part consists of some looping uh, concepts like how do you use different loops, also they touch briefly upon the sequence and the flowcharts. When do you use sequence, what is a sequence and how do you extract the workflow from it and what is a flowchart and different types of flowcharts, okay. So these things are present in the looping part and the second part is about the data manipulation. In this we will be learning how to use the clipboard and what are the excel operations and how do you insert and delete values, how do you build the tables, okay. All of these tutorials are more important than the theory part. So if you watch them, you can write the step by step answers in your own words as well. So I'll be just um, <coughs> going through the brief uh, overview of the what the questions could be asked in the exam. So before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support helps make more videos like this and uh, if you have any doubt, ping me on Instagram. So what are the four types of projects? Okay, this is one of the theory questions, exam point of view, important one. Sequences, flowcharts, user events, and state machines. By the name itself, you can understand. Sequence means what? A sequence of steps will be there that will be performed uh, parallelly, uh, not parallelly, after one after the another. And flowchart means what? Based on the decision or based on the different conditions, the different things will happen. That is known as flowchart. The chart and it flows like that, okay? User event means if you want to perform some particular event, you'll be using user events. State machine means in the automata we learned, right? one state to another state and uh, in the other state it will go based on the state we are choosing which uh, transition should happen that is known as state machines we are concerned with the first two so we will be diving deep into the first two ones how to add a sequence in UiPath studio easy just search uh, sequence in the activities panel and drag and drop there how to take the input and give the output in UiPath using input dialog and message box search in activity panel input and the uh, message box just cl uh, click and uh, drag and drop there in input you can give the text whatever you want to input and save in a variable which can be output in the message box whatever the questions i have written on top of that v that all i have covered in the video so you have to watch that one okay what are activities activities are nothing but any task we need to perform for that what are the things uh, we need and that data structure and the functions are present in those particular activities okay that is called as activities how do you use activities with the workflow explain extracting workflow activities with, with workflow workflow is nothing but a sequence when you have uh, written a sequence here and perform some activities in that explain extracting workflow extracting workflow means what if you extract this as a workflow only this part of the code can be separately executed where this is relevant for example if you have very large database okay here you have a lot of functions which are interrelated to each other and if you want to debug one of the functions okay if you want to debug this one you cannot run the whole program it will take a lot of time and waste of resources and if any error is there in some other part this will also not run so when you extract this as a workflow this will be as a separate uh, tab here and that can be separately run okay that is the advantage and meaning of extracting workflow next question we have what are flowcharts and when do you use them flowchart uh, flowcharts and used when we have some conditions based on that condition the flow should change in that case we will be using flowcharts how to take two numbers based on their value of uh, output their sum take two numbers a and b in the uh, a and b if a plus b is greater than 20 then out, I, I should output as true else i should output as false for that we will be using if condition this also explained in video you can watch that explain the following with example here they can directly ask you what is assign activity delay break while do while for each if switch all of these with examples i have explained in the video you can watch that explain step by step uh, example using the sequence and flowchart very important sequence means it just performs some um, two to three tasks inside of uh, one uh, window whereas flowchart will do multiple tasks okay so here is the input and output uh, message you can uh, give that example in flowchart if you have start here you can do some of the sequences and it will be connected to other sequence and so on so uh, flowchart is the upper layer uh, upper level of uh, uh, sequence how to use sequence and control flow in control flow we'll be using for each loop and the if conditions okay this also i've explained in video you can watch that Consider an array of names, demonstrate an automation process to find out how many of them start with the letter A. Given a number of names, you have to create an array and store some names and you have to output only those names which are starting with A. For that, this is the main thing which you will be writing in the condition part. Item dot to string dot starts with A. If this is true, you will be outputting the name else you will be just moving on. This also explained in the video, you can watch that. These are super important questions from example so don't miss uh, so don't miss that at any cost. Next we have uh, what is the scope of variables in the workflow? The scope of variables is uh, restricted to where we create those variables. Okay, this also I have explained in the video. Still, I'll be explaining a few concepts regarding that. See here, if this is the flow which you are presented, this is the main sequence, and inside that you have another for each loop. Okay, if you create a variable in that, in this box only when you are present, you can as, uh, access that variable. And if you come out of this box, like for example, the next is a message 
storage box if you want to access this variable declared here in this part that's not possible if you want to still access that what you have to do is when you are in this box there is a activity panel called as variables in that variables if you click you will be able to see that variable name and the type and the um scope when you click that scope there will be getting options body uh, sequence and main sequence if you click on main sequence the whole uh, program can access that variable which is declared here like that you can do these things all these things i have explained in the video itself you can watch that next question what is the <coughs> three different types of variable this is the important one scalar variables which only has a single data point collection of variables which can have different types of data tables can have rows and columns what are arguments mention its type purpose and use arguments is nothing but variable but it can be used to transfer one part of the program to another part of the program data if you declare the variables here if you want to use those variables in another part of the program you can use arguments or you can use it between different projects as well okay so that's all and there are four types of it in it is used to just receive the value out is just used to output the value in out is used for both properties just used to specify the state of uh, where we are currently at Explain step by step process of building the data table and data scraping. This also I have explained in the video. You can watch that. That's best. And these two questions, which is about the Excel, copy pasting the automation and the real world using of the read and write cells and the write, read, write and append cells. Okay. This also explained. You can watch that. So make sure you don't miss any of these questions. Super important question from exam point of view. And that's all for this video. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.